Once there was an Israelite family in ancient Egypt with three children, Miriam, Aaron, and Moses. Miriam, the oldest, was sent to watch over her baby brother Moses. Their mother had placed Moses in a basket to hide him from the Egyptians, who were on a quest to kill all the male babies in the kingdom. When Pharaoh's daughter discovered the basket among the weeds, Miriam quickly ran up and volunteered to find a nurse for him. Because of her quick thinking, Moses was raised by his own mother before going to live in Pharaoh's house as a prince. Miriam and Aaron continued to live and work as slaves. The Israelite people suffered greatly at the hands of the Egyptians. One day, Moses killed an Egyptian and fled to the desert to avoid punishment. His family continued to suffer under the heavy hand of a new and crueler Pharaoh. But then, God called Aaron to go meet Moses in the desert. God had spoken to Moses from a burning bush and called him to lead Israel out of Egypt, to freedom in a new promised land called Canaan. Because Moses was afraid, God called Aaron to be Moses' spokesperson. Together, they confronted Pharaoh with warnings, miracles, and ultimately 12 terrible plagues to persuade Pharaoh to release God's people. After the miracle of the Passover, when God's angel of death killed all the firstborn of Egypt, Aaron and Moses led the people toward the Red Sea, following a cloud during the day and a pillar of fire at night. When the approaching Egyptian army cornered Israel at the Red Sea, God parted the waters for them to safely cross into Arabia. Then he closed the waters behind them to drown the Egyptians. The promised land of Canaan was only weeks away, yet Israel complained and disobeyed so much that God let them wander aimlessly for 40 years. When they fought against the Amalekites, Moses inspired the people by lifting his arms over the battle. Aaron and Hur held his arms up when he grew tired. Aaron became the high priest of Israel, who entered the Holy of Holies once per year to make atonement for the people. Miriam was a prophet who led Israel in worship. God used the three siblings together to teach and lead Israel into a relationship with him. Yet, Miriam and Aaron struggled to let Moses be the leader. When Moses met God alone on Mount Sinai to receive the Ten Commandments, he left Aaron in charge. But in Moses' absence, Aaron crumbled under the pressure and led the people in building a golden calf to worship. Aaron and Miriam listened to the people's complaining and gossiped about Moses and his wife. God reacted to Miriam and Aaron strongly. For building the calf, the Levites killed 3,000 Israelites. Then God struck the people with a plague. For her gossip, God struck Miriam with leprosy and he told Aaron he would not see the promised land. All three siblings died before they could enter Canaan. Only Moses was allowed to see it from Mount Nebo in the land of Moab.